Namaskar and welcome to India Science. On the occasion of India at 75, Vigyan Sarvatra Poojate is being organized at 75 locations pan India to further promote science, excellence, innovation and technology and of course make in India. And on the occasion of National Science Day, February 28th, we bring you glimpses of uh, a science awareness drive conducted at the prestigious Amity University, Noida. So let's begin by asking students of Amity University and of course the faculty a few questions on the importance of National Science Day and how it would further India's interests. So to celebrate India's scientific glory and scientific legacy in innovation and basic sciences and applied sciences, we are joined today by students at the Amity University. And I am going to ask you a few questions. Are you ready? Yes. All right, my first question is, what is the theme of the National Science Day this year? Can anyone answer that, please? I'm Nalini from uh, Asset Department, CSE. So uh, the question was that, so theme for National Science Day is sustainability. Can you elaborate what kind of sustainability? Um, by sustainability, I understand that it is a judicious use of our resources. Um, so that it is available for everybody around us. What is the exact theme is my question. Anyone? Yes. This is Harshita Chavla from AIAS department and, and I am doing PhD in chemistry. The theme for the, this science day is inter integrated approach for sustainable development in science and technology. You are absolutely right. The theme for this year is Integrated Approach in Science and Technology for Sustainable Development. Right. Now, my next question is, who is the current ISRO chairman? My name is Dev Karan and the answer is S. Somnath. Absolutely correct. Uh, let's have a huge round of applause for him. It is S. Somnath. All right, my next question is from which satellite vehicle was C-52 launched? And what is the name of the space center? Huh? Yes, go ahead. Uh, hello, my name is Vibhuti and I'm from AIMSA department. So from the vehicle PSLV C-52 was the satellite launched and it was launched from Satish Dhawan Space Center, uh, Sri Harikota. Thank you so much. Thank Bang you on. so much. Bang on. All right, now this is a very interesting question. What is the full name of C.V. Raman? And when was he awarded the Nobel Prize? Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Abhijit Nair. Uh, Dr. C.V. Raman's full name was Chandrasekhar Venkata, Ra uh, Venkata Raman. And uh, he was awarded the Nobel Prize on Feb uh, February 20, nay, uh, yeah, in 1930 for his work on the Raman effect that uh, he conducted on February 28, 1928. Well, can somebody tell us about the Raman effect? Can you answer? I am Dr. Seema Garg from Amity Institute of Applied Sciences. Uh, Raman effect is a very important effect and as we all know, uh, C.V. Raman was awarded Nobel Prize and this was the first Nobel Prize in science which India received because of the C.V. Raman. So this is very important uh, discovery. And actually what is Raman effect? We uh, all should know about that. That is when uh, the light, monochromatic light is irradiated on the homogeneous medium or transparent medium, then collision takes place between photons and the molecules. So it depends if the mo these, this collision is inelastic, that is called Raman effect. It means the scattering light which is received that is having lower, wa uh, lower wave number from the incident radiation or the higher wave number. If it is of lower uh, wave, uh, wave uh, num lower frequency, that is called Stokes radiations. If it is of higher frequency, these are called the anti-Stokes radiations. So this is actually the Raman effect. Thank you so much. That was indeed excellent. 
my next question is who was the only woman scientist to work with cv raman known for her work in atmospheric physics at instrumentation radiation ozone and atmospheric electricity yes go ahead hello everyone uh, myself anuradha kirtonia i am a phd scholar at uh, mit institute of molecular medicine and stem cell research uh, i am working under dr uh, manoj gug who is, a, who is a ramalinga swami fellow and an associate professor uh, the answer to this question i feel very uh, with very pride i could say this because she was uh, she was one of the first uh, student of uh, cv raman who worked uh, with him in that era and uh, she was none other than uh, anna manni uh, she worked in uh, iic bangalore uh, and it was uh, also very uh, when i uh, read about her i could uh, find out that uh, it was uh, not very easy job for her to uh, pursue uh, or to get into phd or to get into research at that stage uh, so yes today uh, standing on this uh, podium and i'm uh, uh, to talk about her it takes uh, immense pleasure and proud to what was uh, her name anna mani i already mentioned yes. her name so we anna mani we all yes. should know about her and i think uh, we all should uh, remember her for thank her work thank you thank you My next question goes out to all of you. Please uh, let me know a show of hands. Who was the first lady president of the Indian Science Congress? Also a member of Rajya Sabha. Hello, I'm Tanushree. I'm from Amity Institute of Stem, uh, Molecular Medicine and Stem Cell Research. The answer to this question is Asima Chatterjee. Again, a spirited applause by all of you. Thank you so much. Who was the first woman faculty member at the IISC? Hello everybody, my name is Shivi and I'm from AMSR department and the answer to this question is Rajeshwari Chatterjee. All right, now this is a very easy one. Rheumatism affects which parts of the body? Can someone answer that? Yeah. Uh, hello everybody. My name is Hansika Raina and I'm from the Department of Neurosciences. And the answer to your question is rheumatism affects the bones, uh, specifically the joints. Thank you so much. And my next question is what is 0 degree Celsius on the Fahrenheit scale? Can you give us an answer? Hello, the answer to your question is it is 32 by 5. It's minus 32 degrees. Minus Celsius. 32, yeah. And thank you so much for joining us. A very happy Science Day to all of you once again.